Yes, yes. Anton Crane, lead scientist here. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. Standard operating procedure for suits, boss. They're all a bunch of cowards. I'm not sure it's right to fault a man for trying to survive. An attack. One that I'd wager was due to the nature of my research here. My research may not quite fall within legal parameters, so I'm under orders to maintain wireless silence. However, having your head used as target practice can addle one's thinking. I cut the call immediately once I'd gathered my wits. The Home Office can't know what's happening here. Captain's got your best interests at heart, mister. Honest. I suppose it can't hurt. If I don't get that research back, my life is over regardless. We were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. Not just any diet toothpaste, the ultimate diet toothpaste. Oh, I'm certain it could be made into that as well, with only a few changes to its molecular composition. But you're missing the point. Let's focus for a moment, shall we? Even if you disregard the obvious value of Auntie Cleo's Apazap diet toothpaste in and of itself, we're talking about my career here as well. Nice, is it not? Came up with that myself. It's a shame our marketing department is almost as befuddled as my co-workers here. Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us, shot up our labs and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. Yes, but don't kill their mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and keycard. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original... by the Grand Architect. Jameson, he's in the old lab. My protege. I sent him to retrieve some metabolic precursors, and I forgot him. That would surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well-being of every scientist here. Too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name, as it were. And far too much paperwork. I'll thank you not to mistake my ambition for callousness. If my colleagues refuse to take their lives seriously, why should I? All they do is complain. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. Believe what you will, but I'm not the manipulative, ego-driven person you think me to be. I'm not. Brain guy cares more about his research than his own people.
can take that ship and race? Gotta be where Mr. James is. Unexpected. Sweeping. Here they come! <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
Ventilation shaft runs from the bottom of the lab to the top of the... Oh, it's you. As if my thoughts weren't dark enough already. What is it? Jameson. I didn't do right by him, did I? Only cared about how he helped or hurt my research. You understand nothing, me least of all. <laughs> 